What's up guys? I'm Chris with DeVille Magic and today you're watching a magic review on ESP cards by Black Cat Magic. Welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in. If you're new here and you're watching from YouTube, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, ring that notification bell so you don't miss a review, and comment on the video with any questions you have or things that you'd like to see reviewed in the future. If you're watching from devillemagic.net, then tune in every week for a new review. What is, or what are, the ESP cards by Black Cat Magic? It is a standard deck of esp cards you have 10 cards in total five of each symbol i will show you what these look like so these are made out of plastic 100 percent um, these will last a lifetime if you keep them in like a packet wallet they're very well made you have your cross circle squiggly lines or waves <clears throat> square and star on the back, you have a nice back design. Uh, the nice thing about these, they're marked, and the marking is very, very deceptive, right? So I've never had anybody notice the marking system. I don't think anybody would, and I've had them really examine these, okay? So the markings are awesome. This is also a one-way marked deck, so you know, you can you can either use it with the, the markings that tell you what's what, or you can use it as a one-way deck. Uh, now, it coming with, or with there being the 10 cards, you don't have any gimmicked cards, for lack of a better term, um, as in, like, double facers or anything like that. So it will limit some, some routines that you may already perform, but for me, uh, the ones that I perform don't use any special cards so this is my go-to set this is these are the ESP cards that I carry around with me the 10 cards here I mean they're not very thick probably about the width of two credit cards stacked so you know as far as we'll jump to pocket space as far as pocket space goes the size of a playing card the thickness of in this case a packet wallet for me the quality I've already mentioned, but I just I'll touch on it quick again. Uh, they're made completely out of plastic, so the nice thing is they won't rip, they won't tear, um, they can you know they'll withstand everyday use. Uh, and if they get dirty, they can be washed, they can be cleaned. So it's really nice that they're plastic and not paper. Tutorial, there is no tutorial, so you're going to have to come up with your own routines or learn routines elsewhere, which isn't hard to do. You know, if you're buying ESP cards, um, you likely are already in the field of mentalism, but you will get <clears throat> a little slip that explains the, uh, the marking system, which I love. It's super easy to read the markings, but like I said, super hard to see if you don't know what they are. Difficulty level and angles. Uh, I've done this surrounded. I've had people examine these cards, look at them super close up. Um, the difficulty is really easy once you once you understand the marking system. There's there's no memory work. There's really no thought that needs to be put into this. The only the difficulty level will be gauged on the routine that you're performing, right? So it's up to you the difficulty level. No arts and crafts, obviously. It's it's ready to go. Uh, setup and reset will just depend on on the routine that you're performing. The ones that I do, there really is no no setup or reset. So I can do this table hopping. I can do this uh, for a small crowd, or you know, it packs small and it plays big. Can it be inspected? Yeah, I mentioned I've had people stare at these cards in you know close up for quite some time, and they you know they gave up before ever finding anything it's it's definitely not easy to find find the markings or how this works in a sense uh they are inspecting them as as you go because the routines that i do they're handling the cards so the fact that they can handle these cards they can look at them they can be inspected for sure is it a worker yeah you know depending on on your style and what you do uh, for work um it, whether you're table hopping strolling close up you know things like that um I, I use 
these cards in a number of different settings and routines and atmospheres and different gigs that I do. So uh, <clears throat> I'd say that they're a worker. That's kind of up to you on, on how you're going to present present these and perform. Is it worth your money? Uh, they're not the cheapest set, but personally, I really like how they look. I like the dark card with the, the white symbols. Um, and the fact that they are made out of plastic and you're never going to have to replace them, uh, that makes it worth the money to me. I don't know if I said they're $30, but yeah, at first when I got them, I thought, oh, $30 and 10 cards. But once I started using them and for the amount I've used them and the reactions that I've got and, and just, you know, the durability, it's, I don't think $30 is unreasonable by any means. Um, these are a great set of ESP cards. They will continue to be my everyday carry and my go-to ESP cards for what I do. I have probably like 10 different sets of ESP cards, whether they're full decks like the 25 cards or 10 card sets or, you know, sets with special cards in them. And these are the ones that I, I cho choose to use. So um, I think that they're worth it. Pros and cons. Uh, some people might find... $30 for 10 cards to be a lot, but I've explained why I don't find that to be the case. Uh, the pros, super easy to use, super easy to read, and they're going to last you a lifetime. You know, get dirty, clean them, and then just keep them in some kind of uh, protective case, card wallet, and, you know, you're good to go. These things will last you forever. So, that's, that's my review on the ESP cards by Black Cat Magic. I will leave a link in the description. Check them out. And thank you for sticking around. Please subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you at the next video.